Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to continue this, uh, the tutorial, Java tutorial and uh, in this tutorial we will see what is a Java OOPS concept and uh, what kind of interview question you can face in interview room or your written test for any company interview uh, in the particular topic uh, from class and object. So what is a OOPS in Java? As you know object oriented programming language but I have one question you uh, to you is Java is a pure object programming language yeah sometimes my answer is yes and sometimes my answer is no well there is a we are using uh, lots of integer and floats and characters for uh, my Java uh, for my Java uh, code so I think they are built in uh, a particular language like C or something they are libraries that predefined libraries we are going to use in that my Java code these are not classes and object so uh, we can say it's uh, not a pure object oriented class but sometimes we use that wrapper classes then creating a particular perfect uh, object of that uh, integer and uh, string class or some other class like character class so we can say Java is a pure object oriented program language that, that language that is follow all the oops concept like class object polymorphism and any time subtraction encapsulation is called the uh, pure object oriented programming language so or uh, for more detail you can uh, come on that uh, code1.com and uh, just uh, open this post and read that particular thing discussion by the developers on that on stack overflow so uh, and now we are going to continue the tutorial in this tutorial like I will discuss what is a object in class in Java in any times polymorphism in abstraction and encapsulation by follow the upcoming tutorial and so today what is an object and what is class an object is a runtime entity which shows the uh, behavior of particular class which have a, a property of that object right it's called the object so uh, we can take an example like a class there is a different different students in class so every student is a object of that particular class like uh, you are a student of a, B, a BCA class BCA first year so BCA first year is a class and inside that these students are the object so every object has its own uh, property like uh, the different different students are there one can sing one can uh, uh, programming bell one can presentation bell something so every student has his own quality so it's called object of that particular class so if you see then the example so this is the object and what is a class class is a, the first definition you can make that by class is a class is a uh, collection of that object right so what did uh, class uh, contain so contain uh, class contained methods we can keep our methods inside the method or uh, inside the class or constructor and data member means variable so this is the co uh, this is the code you can see there is a main method and this is the class inside this class these are the methods objects or we can define some variable in constructor also we will discuss in pre uh, upcoming tutorials so let's uh, start for uh, the for interview focus java oops uh, interview question and answer class and object actually uh, I, co I cover these interview questions these possible interview co uh, questions that may be asked on that particular class and object so the first question is that what is class and its type and it's a type in java so i told you previously a class is a uh, you can say the collection of object or something so the formal definition is the cl class is a blueprint or prototype that define the variable the methods constructor constructor data member mainly two types of classes are there in java like pre uh, predefined classes or uh, we can create our own classes so what is a predefined classes java libraries provide java packages providing some classes for m more use like a string class for a string uh, for you would use the string methods or property of that particular class for updating operation in a string okay so next question is what are the methods and its advantage so methods are used to define a behavior of an object in java so why we use method because we want to use one code uh, reuse again and again so we can take that code in a particular method and use it we want to perform some operation 
so they can uh, write code that uh, particular code in that method and we will call so let's see the practical how to use a method in java so for that practical i am using that uh, eclipse you can download easily and uh, open it so for creating the object go new and java project so my project name you can say like i'm going to demo one inside this i'm going to create a class a java class so my class name will be main remember the class names first letter will be capital as a java standard and here i'm going to create a main class sorry main method inside this method inside this method this is also a method but inside this method i'm going to create uh, inside this class i'm going to create a another uh, class the void show another method void show it will show the message system dot out dot print island and hello java right so this is the this is the method the first word void is a return type of that particular method means it will not return anything so is the name of method and inside this curly braces we can write our code like i want to use this code here in my main method so what i'm going to do i'm going to, to create an object of m m main class m equals to new main and I'm going to call this method m.show let's check the output just run this code and you can see here the message hello java so this is the way we can use methods in java and uh, can we define a top level class as a private class think of one thing if you are going to create any class as a private class then you are not able to access it so my answer is no you can't a top level class as a private would be completely useless because nothing would happen except to access to it so we can define a top level class as a public or default even we can't define as a uh, top level class as a protected so let's check and i'm going to create my main class as a private class so compiler will give me an error like illegal uh, modifier or class main something if i'm going to use the protect keyword before the my class so again compiler give me an error the same error okay so you can't use that uh, private and protected as your uh, top level class <clears throat> what is the reason behind the error could not found a load main class sometimes the beginners get that error and uh, it's a very confusing the uh, why this error actually will come so i'm going to clear one thing just i'm going to remove it in class is a public sorry default and uh, i'm going to show when that error will become I'm going to create another class. Class main two. Inside class. Yeah, you can see that the output is could not find a load a main class. What? Uh, the compiler is going to do compiler is going to do a search uh, main class in this class main.java but there is a no main.java class so it will give me that error the first reason is that and another reason for this error if i'm going to remove that class that method so you can see the main method is not found in the class main so next question is what are the different way to create an object in java so there is a different different way we can create a new object by new keyword and the another way is new instance 
so and uh, the next way is cloning the object de deserialization object factory object but most important uh, the two way are there the first one is by new object new keyword like that i'm going to use here man2 uh, obj equals to new man2 so this is the first way of the creating object and the another way by creating instance of particular object and I'm going to use a class name as a man2 and and my class name also man2 okay it's a it's a throw exception so Now I'm going to call that method obj dot show. Obj one on that obj one also I'm going to call the method dot show. Let's check the output. Sorry, there is a no message on the print. The system dot out dot print dialing the messages or something. So you can see the output here. I'm gonna use print dialing so it will clear for you. The, the first message is printed by this object and the second message printed by the, this object. So my next question is, what are the different way to initialize an object in Java? So we can use an initialize the object in three way, the way by reference variable, by method, and by constructor. But let me explain you how to do that. If I'm gonna create some uh, variable here, like in this class, integer a equals to 10 a equals to sorry it's yeah a equals to 10 and i want to call this object here so what i'm going to do i'm going to create an object of that m2 class m2 obj equals to new man2 and now i'm going to call this uh, obj dot a and I have to hold this value in a variable <coughs> in a reference variable so now I'm going to print that particular value a okay let's check the output and you can see the output is 10 so this is the first way by reference variable by a method so you can see we already use that method here and uh, using we already creating a method here show method and on the particular object i'm going to call that show method so by method also i'm call if uh, i'm going to create that method as uh, void or something void and uh, I'm going to pass uh, integer a equals to 10 or uh, sorry integer a equals to already defined so I'm going to create a b and I'm going to declare it now and plus b so here i have to pass a value like 10 i pass 10 so the output is 10 behind this message after this message so <coughs> this is the another way by using the method inside this method we pass the 10 the next way is constructor like i'm going to create a constructor of this m2 
and uh, it's a default constrictor inside this constrictor I'm going to create a constrictor with a argument parameterize argument and I'm going to system dot out dot print line it's C so here I have to pass a value in this constructor so the constructor value is 25 that's it now first it will return 25 so 25 is printed so there are these are the three way why we can initialize the object we can pass initialize object by uh, method or by variable and another one is constructor what are the inner classes a class inside the inner in, inside the class is called inner classes or nested classes how can we use multiple objects in class a multiple class of a, a multiple object of a particular class so there are the multiple objects are there and going to use calling that method and so we can use by this way so thank you so much for watching guys the next tutorial we will discuss the next topic i think in any times or polymorphism something or if you like please subscribe and share this video and if you want add more some question in this particular topic you can comment me or if you get something wrong please comment me and i will put all your questions in this post thank you